startup falcon go to configuration In configuration go to hardware go to idle cutoff turn this on this will enable you to use the warthogs detent to your advantage once you apply changes exit and launch falcon once in falcon go to your setup the controllers you will see your throttle slider you want to set that red tick mark right on your idle position on the warthog so move your warthog over to the detent and then once you got it over the tent against the idle position right click and it tells you in the tooltip right click to set eye idle once you right click, it sets that red tick. If you're below it, you'll turn off your engine. If you're above it, you'll turn on your engine. So let's uh, try this out. I'm going to apply. Go to tactical engagement, ground ops. Click training, click your plane, and take off. All right, um, now you want to start your engine. Turn off the battery. Go ahead and turn off the air source to norm. And start with start two. Now the engine's gonna spool up to 25%, which is that first green mark. Now, right now I have the throttle in the off position, just below the idle detent. Okay. I am not going to use the keyboard command for idle detent. I'm going to use just the throttle, just pushing it up over the detent. you can see it is now revving up no keyboard binds needed no direct X bindings all you have to do was move the throttle above your detent basically you're moving the throttle above that red take mark we set in the control page and now I'm going to move my throttle back because I had a little bit 
bit more than the idle. Oops. Now, if I were to move the throttle over to the tent, not the idle to the tent, it will shut off my engine. And I will do that now. I didn't have to press the alt high key at all. Just had to move it over the bump. So it's important in the control page to set your throttle idle tick mark, which is the red one, right at the idle position of the warthog. Not the off position, but the idle position. That concludes